Hey, I'm Sam and I do design and in the video today, I'm talking about the SketchUp 3D Warehouse. I've been a product designer and visualizer for nearly a decade, specializing in realistic interiors and plain e-commerce renderings. During that time, I've worked for companies such as Cetaphil and Braun, creating digital recreations of their physical products and rendering them in their perfect light. In fact, my very first 3D CAD experience was with SketchUp. It was owned by a different company back then, and the PlayStation game Heavy Rain had just come out. The game starts in a beautiful modern home of an architect, and I just had to recreate the scene in SketchUp. That was 14 years ago. Fast forward all of that time, and I'm still here, met by the SketchUp's trusty scale figure, the 2D face me person who always faces the camera. I can always count on them. Over that time, I've seen shifts in the visualization industry that have become almost recognizable compared to when I started. We're recreating more realistic images, and now, thanks to SketchUp, we're making visuals faster and more efficiently, saving time and budget. In the past, the product visualization industry was naive. It was insular, and production techniques were heavily guarded secrets. As time has progressed, we've seen an explosion of paid and open source downloadable assets to add to scenes from textures to complete model sets. I've actually launched a new pendant light design recently and I'm using this SketchUp scene to quickly make some marketing renders for it. That's what this time-lapse is about. Making realistic scenes with rich props and detail is what I want to talk to you about today. Now, as some of you may know, I render all of my scenes in Keyshot. It plays nicely with CAD data from different programs, including SketchUp files. Materials saved in SketchUp transfer over to Keyshot seamlessly, and the part layers are really well organized. Keyshot is the perfect rendering pairing to use with SketchUp without needing to remodel everything in an optimized, low-poly way. But where might SketchUp fit into this workflow? Well, beyond the classic modeling capabilities, they've asked me to look into the 3D warehouse specifically and how it can benefit me, and more importantly, you. Top level, SketchUp's 3D warehouse lets you add models easily to your scene with one simple click. Instant scene building, nice. However, I've been so impressed with this asset collection that it's made me question the industry as a whole. One of the biggest shifts in the industry I've noticed is how open people are to using pre-made assets. In the dark ages, nearly a decade ago, it was frowned upon to use bought assets as a visualizer. If you're being paid to create a scene and just collect assets and drop them into the scene, then surely it won't be bespoke and high quality, right? Wrong. The whole industry has come to its senses and finally, there's a general agreement that the curation is just as valid as the creating of assets. It's all about the difference between simply setting a scene up with props and purposefully art directing a scene with intent. Using pre-made assets frees up the time you can spend on art direction, and it's almost guaranteed to ensure a stronger result because of it. Creating compelling visuals is all about the curation of the scene. The subject matter, the composition, the crop, what's in the frame, and sometimes more importantly, what's not in the frame. Curation is king, and that's what I see myself as rather than a digital creator. SketchUp's 3D warehouse is a behemoth of assets ready to drop into your scene instantly. I spent some time in the warehouse searching for different elements, and I could find everything from plants to kitchen sinks. Literally, Cola has uploaded all of their kitchen sinks more on that in a sec. So with the assets starting to come together in my scene, suddenly it hit me. Can I simply search for entire rooms? And sure enough, there were plenty of models to choose from. That was an instantly built scene ready to render with materials and lighting. All you need to do is add your own product CAD. I mentioned Cola just now, and while scrolling through the warehouse, I was really struck by how amazing it was. Usually with model marketplaces, you find that individual artists have uploaded their own interpretation of the product with varying levels of accuracy. You might spend ages looking for the most accurate version of a particular prop, 
sometimes spending as much time searching as it would have taken to model your own. SketchUp has thought of that and their new image search feature in Warehouse is fantastic for finding props quickly. You don't need an encyclopedic knowledge for which chair companies produce the exact side chair that you want in your scene. Just go to the internet, drag and drop an image, and SketchUp will show you the matching assets. That's a real lifesaver when the visuals deadlines are approaching and you need to find just the right prop to make your scene pop. Once I started using the image search functionality, I don't think I would go back. But this is another one of those industry changes I've been talking about. As designers, intellectual property defines our designs and protects us against copyright. It's historically been so rare for companies to share their CAD models of their products with the fear that other companies can download them and recreate them for themselves. But what's interesting is that recently, companies have realized just how essential product visuals and marketing can be. The shift from cloak and dagger hoarding of 3D models into open source surface data available to download is enormous. We as creators get to use incredibly accurate CAD with the correct proportions and surface detailing. The companies get to see their virtual models spread around the world through various marketing campaigns that have been downloaded as assets. Finally, they're in control of their models being visualized in the back of scenes rather than different artists having a go at modeling them with questionable proportions. It's a win-win for everyone. What SketchUp is enabling here with the 3D Warehouse is not only speed and efficiency by dragging and dropping models, but also accuracy and supreme fidelity. I can always tell subpar renders and marketing materials online because the props are nearly correctly proportioned, but not quite. 3D Warehouse is a vast collection of all types of props that will bring a scene to life. So if massive companies such as Herman Miller, OpenDesk and Kohler are sharing their model data with SketchUp 3D Warehouse, you can see that the shift in other companies will start to follow suit. We're at the beginning of a mass sharing of open source model files. Spaces like the 3D Warehouse make it seamless to download the files and place them straight into your scenes, straight from the manufacturer. It's not about an artist representation of a nondescript vanilla prop modeled to appeal to the lowest common denominator so they'll sell as many of those CAD assets as possible. Now we're seeing an accurate representation of the physical world recreated meticulously using actual manufacturing data. All are easily accessible by the download button of the SketchUp 3D Warehouse. I set out to make this video about quickly and easily adding assets to scenes with the click of a download button in SketchUp's 3D Warehouse. Still, as I've scrolled through the library and played with the accurate CAD from authentic interior, architecture, and product design companies, I realized how far this industry has come. It's a paradigm shift, changing perceptions that see the importance of art direction from an artist equally as much as creating the scene. So if you're looking for a quick tip to improve your render quality, head back to the start of this video and watch when I say, go and try SketchUp. Just go and have fun with the 3D warehouse. Who knows, you might even find the interior model from Heavy Rain there. Go and click the link in the description to download SketchUp and integrate the 3D warehouse into your workflow. Build complex lived-in scenes in a fraction of the time as building it yourself. Render your products for marketing visuals quicker than ever with SketchUp and their 3D warehouse. As always, if you've learned anything in this video, please let me know down in the comments below. I love reading about it. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.